A papilla suture is a suturing technique used when treating mouth wounds. Papilla is a name for a certain area of the gingiva, namely the small triangle between your teeth, which is shown in the image with a green border. In the video, the gums were folded to the side, forming a mucosa flap, and a cyst was removed. A gum suture, that is to say, a papilla suture, will now be performed. To perform the suture, the needle is carefully passed between the teeth at the base of the papilla, and emerges from the gums near the palate. For the purpose of comfort, one should work with an absorbable surgical suture material, as shown in this video, because it is less prickly for the patient. Although these threads do reabsorb, they should be removed after one week for hygienic reasons. The papilla suture can be executed as a simple interrupted suture or as a back and forth suture. You will now see the difference in this animation. First, the simple interrupted suture. The needle passes between the teeth from the outside to the inside and is then knotted. Now, in comparison, the back and forth suture. In this case, as soon as the needle emerges on the inside, for example at the palate, it is inserted once more between the teeth and emerges at the front. If an increased tension of the mucosa flap is expected due to a swelling, for example, a back and forth suture technique should be applied, as it is far more stable. 